How do you get people to talk about something that is ordinary, ugly, and boring? I wasn't too sure, but from experience, I know that the internet loves to see things that are extravagant, unique, and different. So applying that same concept to plastic bottles, having 10,000 of them seemed like a great start at making something ordinary into something extravagant. With more plastic than fish in the sea scheduled for 2050, it made sense to add an ocean component to the project. A sea of plastic was interesting and sad, but it needed something unique and beautiful to truly stand out. What more unique and beautiful to represent the ocean than a mermaid? And so with the help of a waste management center called Tamra and a local artist called Cynthia, we ended up with 10,000 plastic bottles that came in a 50-foot truck, along with a beautifully designed, handmade mermaid tail. This unexpected combination, I felt, had the potential to be something truly different. So with all three components to make things shareable, the extravagant, the unique, and the different, I felt like we had all of the ingredients necessary to create something that could potentially make the boring topic of plastic pollution more shareable. As the shoot deadline creeped forward, dozens of volunteers joined us in our quest, contributing whatever they could from helping us clean and delabel thousands of bottles, to rigging up my camera to the ceiling with plywood and pulleys, to borrowing a 52-inch TV from Costco. For the mermaid, talented artists came together to transform our beautiful model into a believable mermaid. And before I knew it, all the pressure was on me, waiting to see if the concepts would work or just be flushed down the drain. As the day flew by, volunteers worked tirelessly, pushing bottles around, collecting them, organizing them by color before tossing them right back out onto the floor to create a new set of patterns that some crazy photographer had told them to do. Slowly but surely, an extravagant, unique, and different series appeared, just like I had hoped. But deep in the back of my mind, one nagging thought remained. How much difference could a series like this possibly make in encouraging people to stop using plastic bottles? Honestly, I'm not sure, but I guess I'm about to find out. Oh, and one more thing, guys. I have a giveaway for you. It's in the description in the link below. Thank you so much for being a part of this project. High five.